modality that helps address one, one's uh, musculoskeletal structural imbalances or dysfunctions or partial dysfunctions. Plain and simple. Also, their movement impairments. It helps a person move more efficiently. Um, some training camps apply it, but they don't know how to apply it appropriately. It's more about wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, what looks cool if you're going to the camera, and what breaks the sweat and gets my cardio. Excellent, that's great. But that person has an injury because they have a stiff, rigid thoracic spine and they have locked up hips or whatever. And you don't address those issues through their training, you're not really doing justice for that, for that client, that athlete. So the thing about corrective exercise, and there's only two principles. Now, the beauty of the, 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 the trend in the health field, of the fitness field, the wellness field, you guys probably went to some of the lectures today. I didn't get the opportunity, but I could tell what's going on just by reading the titles of a lot of the classes. The evolution of the fitness industry, you guys are like the forerunners right now, um, is, is you're going more towards awareness of the corrective aspects, re post rehabilitation of this thing, which just basically means corrective exercise, being aware of someone's posture, and how do I put into a great program so that person could lose weight, build muscle, or whatever they want to do, run a triathlon. The essence of it is basically two basic principles. One is the body goes towards strength, avoids weakness, hands down. It's the ultimate compensator. The body tries to be efficient, but as a result of it being efficient, it ends up being inefficient in the long run. So all I'm trying to do is teach them how to be efficient <laughs> from their inefficiency, inefficiencies of trying to be efficient. If you can understand that, then you'll see that what happens when someone sprains their ankle, they limp. That's because the body says that's an injured body part. It's weak when we go to what's strong. So it goes to whatever it can get going. So the human organism can actually function and do what it has to do. So as that body part heals, the brain, the nervous system, the central nervous system, still compensates until it feels it's OK, and then it goes back. But why is it that that person still has a limp 10 years down the line after everything has been healed? Exactly. So they develop habits out of that, 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 that. That's why it's so important for that body part to heal quickly and to have a proper neuromuscular re-education and corrective exercise strategy, so to speak. And then you'll get a lot of clients with that. Oh, I noticed you're limping over there. I guess, oh yeah, I sprained my ankle you know, five years ago. But you as, a, you as trainers, ding, 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 rings a bell. So a lot of what I'm teaching not just applies to MMA, it applies to any client you have, really, to be honest, any active client. So what, it, what happens is, you also get that, uh, this came to my head, there's a common scenario where you have somebody that has, um, they'll come to you and say, yeah, I had an old injury, I sprained my ankle a while ago, and uh, this is my weak leg. So let's say it's the left leg. And then you assess them, you're seeing how they're moving, and they tend to shift their weight on their left leg a lot. And you're like, if that's their weak leg, why are they using them a lot? Understand that principle that Michael just said, that the nervous system, the body goes towards strength, avoids weakness. Well, that's because probably, that's the reason why they injured that ankle in the first place, because that's their favorite go-to guy. That's their dominant leg, where they always put their weight at any given instant. So that's probably contributed to that overload, overloading pattern, so to speak, to, to, to cause or create an environment for an injury. 